Time. Space. The Force. It's more than a linear path. It's a prison of endless possibilities, where a single choice can branch out into infinite realities, creating alternate worlds from the ones you know. I am Ryan Brower. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Join me and ponder the question, what if? In the middle of the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and Ahsoka Tano find themselves on a distant planet, unaware of where they are. There they meet three beings, the father, the son, and the daughter. While there, the son possesses the Torgrutan Padawan, and once her usefulness is completed, he kills her. In your galaxy, the daughter uses her last breath to save the life of Ahsoka Tano. She would later go on to leave the Jedi Order, and in doing so, become one of the most selfless heroes in the galaxy. But in this universe, the daughter dies before having the chance to save Ahsoka. Anakin was more than sad. He was angry. After his mother died, he promised that he wouldn't fail again to protect those he loved. And he just did. The Padawan he spent several years training, gone. After Anakin and Obi-Wan fail to save the son, the father would sacrifice himself taking the son's power and allowing Anakin to deliver the final blow. The former master and Padawan wake up back on their ship, with a familiar Torgrutan girl next to them. Anakin was so overjoyed, he leapt out of his seat to give her a hug when all of a sudden, she vanished. Obi-Wan was confused by Anakin's weird behavior, but he also understood. He knew Anakin was going to need time to truly embrace that his Padawan was dead. Anakin fell down to his hands and knees, leaving Rex confused. Obi-Wan explained everything while the Chosen One walked out of the cockpit. Once on Rex's Venator, Anakin went to the General's quarters and broke down in tears. He couldn't even give her a proper funeral like he did with his mom. He just had to… live with it. A year had passed, and Anakin had still carried the guilt of what happened. He became more and more distant from the Jedi even from the clones that he fought side by side with for a long time. Anakin's win-loss record throughout the war was not good. All he could think about was his fallen Padawan, and how he couldn't lose anyone else close to him. So Anakin made a tough decision, and one that was a long time coming at this point. He left the Jedi Order. Obi-Wan felt as though he failed Anakin as a mentor and as a friend but he completely understood why Anakin made the decision he did. Anakin told his own master about his relationship with the senator from Naboo, Padme Amidala, how they fell in love, how they got married, all of it. Obi-Wan told Anakin, If you ever need anything from me, you know where to find me. It meant a lot to Anakin that his mentor and brother still cared. He thought about whether Ahsoka would approve. He knew Ahsoka and Padme started to become good friends throughout the war, so he imagined that she would be nothing but supportive. Anakin and Padme began living a whole new life together. The Chosen One was no longer a Jedi, and the Senator was no longer serving the Republic. They started living out on Naboo in the Lake Country. No one knew where they were. In the middle of the biggest war the galaxy had seen in hundreds of years, the two were living like it was the most peaceful time. The Chosen One didn't know in the moment, but just being with the woman he loved most was the most therapeutic thing he could have done. She helped him move on from his Padawan's death, which is something Ahsoka would have wanted him to do eventually. Time had gone on and Anakin was enjoying his new life, until it got even better. His wife told him that she was pregnant. Thought this was about to take a bad turn, didn't you? Well, you are right about that, because later that night, Anakin started having dreams of his wife dying in childbirth. Anakin started to grow increasingly worried as night after night, the dreams continued. After almost a month of having bad dreams, Anakin decided to contact his former master to try and make sense of it all. Obi-Wan took a covert mission to Naboo and spent some time with his former apprentice. He talked about how proud he was of Anakin of everything he's done, and while he's not completely happy about him leaving the Order, he gets that his apprentice is in a much better spot now than he was a few years ago. With exceptions of bad dreams, of course. Obi-Wan didn't really know how to make sense of it other than he could have been seeing visions of the future. But, as Master Yoda would always say, always in motion is the future. During his stay on Naboo, Obi-Wan got a transmission. Not from the Jedi, 
but a Mandalorian, and not just any Mandalorian, Satine's sister, Bo-Katan. She let him know that the renegade Sith and his old nemesis, Darth Maul, had returned to Mandalore. Obi-Wan knew that he had to go to stop him. Anakin wanted to help his old master because he knew how much capturing Maul would mean to him, but he also didn't want to leave his pregnant wife. She insisted that he go and help his friend and mentor. The two rendezvous with a nearby Republic fleet to go to Mandalore, but before they can go through with their plan, Master Yoda contacts them, telling him, Under siege, Coruscant is. Kidnapped the Chancellor has been. Need you back immediately, I do. Obi-Wan did what he was told, but he knew he would have to abandon this small mission. Anakin said, You may not be able to lead this mission, Master, but I can. But Anakin, what about your wife? You have a baby on the way. You are no longer a part of the Grand Army of the Republic. You're right, but you've helped me so much over the years, Master. You've been there for me no matter what. Now it's time I return the favor. Skywalker knew how much capturing Maul would mean to Obi-Wan, and he appreciated it. But before Obi-Wan departed, Anakin said, Obi-Wan, may the Force be with you. Goodbye, old friend. May the Force be with you, he replied. And with that, the Siege of Mandalore had begun. It was a brutal battle, with both sides losing a lot of men. It would lead to a battle between two men that had never faced each other before. Anakin Skywalker versus the formerly Darth, now just Maul. The two would clash sabers and duel all around the Mandalorian throne room. Both were evenly matched against each other, but in the end, Anakin would defeat Maul and bring him to justice. Or did he? When the dust settled and the siege was over, all of the clone troopers turned against the Jedi. Anakin was confused. Why would all the soldiers that he fought side by side with, for years, turn on him? But he also realized what the most important thing he needed to do next was, and that's get back to the woman he loves. Anakin would use the skills he had learned as a Jedi to help him survive. Anakin would spend the next few years in hiding with his wife on Naboo. They would spend their days raising not just one baby, but two, and it turned out Padme had twins, a boy, Luke, and a girl, Leia. Padme taught them how to be everything from a house cleaner to a senator, while her husband taught them how to be a Jedi. He would tell them stories about his late Padawan and how she was supposed to be their aunt. Oh, the thought of Ahsoka taking care of Luke and Leia as kids even brings a tear to my face. One day, Anakin dreamt, but this time, it wasn't a nightmare. It was none other than his old Padawan. Master, I'm so sorry for everything I put you through. I'm sure dealing with my death wasn't easy, but you were not only able to move on, but you became a better Jedi in person for it. I couldn't be more happy for you. Anakin began crying. Just because I move forward doesn't mean I don't miss you, Snips. She replied, I will always be with you, Sky Guy. In conclusion, Ahsoka's death changed the course of Anakin's life, and while many assumed it would be for the worst, it was actually for the better. He got to be with the love of his life, raise his children, and perhaps even defeating the Dark Lord of the Sith himself. But that's a potential story for another time. That concludes today's story. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this story, and be sure to check out some of my other content here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.